creators welcome back to the studio i'm aramis the artist this week was so much fun y'all because i be i don't know how long this construction is gonna go on but hang in there with me y'all hang in there with me this week was so full i got to see the patrons during the create date i attempted to remove the graffiti off the mural y'all gonna see the whole story about that so you know what you need to do boo grab you a cup of tea and let's hop into the studio vlog We're picking back up where we left off from the previous vlog. That is where I started the background layer for this painting. If you missed that, I'll link it up in the cards above. Right here, you can see the chalk lines where I was sketching out a design that would mimic rose petals. But I decided to scratch that and go with something that was a little bit more freeform. Wrapping up at the VMC pop-up. Just wrapped up the shift for the day. Where's the key? This might be the last time I'm up here for a good minute. But um, we had a great day. The Graham fam came through. I made a post just this morning and it was a busy day. It's loud out here. So I wanted to take y'all up to um, Vermilion actually, because last time I brought you all out on the vlog, I was installing the show. And so now it's completely up. It looks fantastic. Uh, the show ends on the end of the month, February 28th. So um, I wanna make sure that I see it because I wanna see everybody's work ups. I'm heading that way now. Mama, yes. 
Is she open? Yeah, no, she's closed on Friday. Okay. realize like hard how hard it is to curate these shows so shout out to Kamisha for galvanizing us all sending out the emails installing the show she even got the sign up so make sure y'all check her out on the gram I'm gonna put her Instagram handle right here all the pieces that's up in the show are for sale okay so look <laughs> y'all know I'm out here about promo and artists okay <laughs> buy some art <laughs> Your girl got a damn ticket. Mm. <laughs> I knew I was. Like, I literally, first of all, y'all know I was on CP time. So I was late. I, I let the Instagram family know that I was going to be up here uh, at 3. I pulled up at 3.05. And of course, the family is out here waiting on me, which I so appreciate. I'm like, oh my God. Had like a little. Got like a little line going on. I say, y'all are not playing. I am here for the love, cause the love is real. But um, yeah, no, nah, I guess, I guess the parking people are not playing. They're like, you better pay. I was running late, so I took a picture of the parking code, cause like we got this app out here where you pay for the parking on the app. I'm like, okay, let me get the parking location so when I get settled in, I'll be able to pay for my parking. Yeah, no. Nah. No, <laughs> your girl's out here running her mouth, but thank you so much to everybody who came through. I was like, wow, I did not expect that. So truly appreciate it. Um, I'm about to head back home now. I am super excited because tomorrow is the create day. I'm gonna be hanging out with the patrons, y'all. So I am like, ah, oh, I'm super excited for that. Um, we got quite a few people who RSVP'd, so I'm actually gonna be exploring this new platform called Crowdcast. Um, if, if there's any Patreon artists out there, let me know in the comments and, and let me know if y'all have any experience with, with Crowdcast. This will be my first time using it, so actually, um, by the time this vlog goes up, I'll be able to let you all know my feedback on it, but I am gonna have a Zoom link for backup, just in case I'm not feeling the Crowdcast. Uh, it's, it's pretty much like a live streaming tool, similar to like YouTube streaming live or um zoom but this one is a lot better integrated with patreon like it sends out reminders and stuff so i don't even have to go back and remind people it's all streamlined so fingers crossed it'll work out really good so yeah i'm gonna see you all a little later ah he's about to go live hey hey y'all we are live testing testing can y'all hear me? Drop it in the chat. Right here over to your right. Mm -mm. Hello, Hannah. How's it going? Screen. Hey, Tiffin. Hey, Q. I'm going to invite y'all on the screen. Hey, y'all. 
Uh, we got Michael in the house. Hey, Michael. Hey. Absolutely. And we got Laren in the house. Hey, Angel. <laughs> so I wanted to make sure that I was, that I was saying your name right. Quasha. There we go. Hey, Natasha. Welcome. Welcome. We are just starting. Uh, we hopped off from Crowdcast, and so I'm glad you were able to find us over here um, in, in Zoom. So I'm just here in the studio. Um, so we have some some new folks coming in from who, uh, who wasn't with us at the last Create Date. So pretty much what this is, is like a chill hangout. I'm gonna be painting, you all can be creating, sketching. Um, we can chat during that time if you all have any questions, if you, if, if you all just wanna ask anything, or just express how you feel it in your own creative journey, this is the space to do it. Um, so let's go around and intro. I would love to, um, well, I, I just about know everybody's name now, but for the people who don't know, let's say your name, let's say your pronoun, and what type of art you create or what kind of art you like. Um, and yeah, and what you are looking forward to today. Look, I'm about to pull up my Audible app. Natasha, you done started it, okay? We did look, we sharing books. We share. So, Dr. Joe Dispenza, the one that I have, Becoming Supernatural, highly recommend that one. So, that one uh, is a different narrator. It's not him. But also, the reason why I got that book, the physical copy, is because he has so many graphs and so many pictures and imageries. He's a neuroscientist, so he shows all of his data of the brain scans of how certain meditations is truly changing the mind. And he's, like, showing all this data in these pictures. Um, so definitely highly recommend Becoming Supernatural is one and then the other one that i have on audio is um breaking the habits of being yourself yeah, it's called breaking the habits of being yourself how, how to lose your mind and create a new one so it sounds wild but i feel like i'm talking to the right group of people who understand what that what that means you know <laughs> yeah so sometimes we have to break out of those limited beliefs all right y'all say hey so much for being here truly appreciate <laughs> y'all we just finished up the create date like it's literally <sighs> i get so excited it's just like always good vibes folks bringing great questions we creating together oh i probably i probably only painted like one line of actual paint uh because we just we were just all chatting and connecting but man it went great i think crowd cast is dope it could be cool for somebody who is just doing like a webinar or seminar like if you just want to have your face up there and like have people talking in the chat i think i think it could actually be really cool um but for what i wanted to do which was have everybody on the call i want to be able to see everybody's face i didn't want folks to have to like put their pencil or put their paintbrush down to type something in the chat um i think zoom actually worked perfect for us so just letting letting anybody know out there who's trying to play around with some of these new platforms and for me crowdcast isn't something that's actually fulfilling my needs so your girl gonna cancel <laughs> that subscription <laughs> it is a beautiful sunny day in seattle and so it is the perfect time for me to head back over out to paramount and clean up the graffiti that we talked about from last week's vlog <laughs> studio to get some more of the safe wipes I didn't bring the whole box with me I only brought a few and so I actually needed more 
I end up using a total of nine wipes, which is uh, more than I thought. So if anything, the next time I'll probably buy the bottle and just like use the wipes that I have in my studio. I'm on my phone by the way, so that's why the quality is a lot different than my Canon camera. Um, but I'm headed home now, but um, yeah, it didn't come off as good as I would have wanted to. Uh, but I think part of that is because it's on plywood and there's a lot of texture. Yeah, the more I was just like taking taking the paint off. I think it definitely still looks better though. You know, like if somebody's taking a photo of it, you know, you don't want that name in the back or just like writing on it. So I think in photos and in video, it actually doesn't look, doesn't look as bad. So I think it's gonna be good. Um, yeah, so your girl's about to head home and get her some R&R. &R. See y'all soon. So clearly, it didn't go as smooth as I wanted it to go, but it still doesn't look crazy. It don't look crazy, it don't look janky, and that's what I was trying to avoid. So that's what can happen with spray paint. So what's really nice about the Miro Shield, it works really good for paint that's laid on really nice and thick. But if you have any designs that are like airbrushed or uses spray paint, uh, something that has like a thin, soft, fine layer, some of these safe wipes I noticed can pick some of that up. Um, the black, that background layer was obviously still on there. I put so many coats of that paint, but uh, it was just really frustrating to see that some of the um, galaxy came off. It's fine. This is why if y'all see anybody out in the streets tagging artists work, I'm calling on you. Stand up, advocate, okay? I mean, no matter what, like a mural will never really be the same after tagging. This also was a mural that was painted on plywood. So the biggest thing was that there were so many grooves and a whole lot of texture in it. So I wasn't really able to get into the grooves of the wood versus if this is something that was painted on like a smoother surface or maybe drywall or something that was, that was, uh, that was more flat. Now, if you are painting on a rougher surface, maybe like maybe you painted a mural on, uh, on brick wall, what the what's the other best way to remove graffiti using the mural shield and all the stuff that I talked about is using um, what is it called a pressure washer a pressure washer now if you've seen a pressure washer you know what I think can really really be intense and can really take off a lot of dirt or like whatever you're trying to remove you saw from mine it was a really light spray paint layer like I, I did a soft dusty galaxy view and a lot of that came off so I'm gonna probably do another video showing a little bit more details of the process because this was my first time doing it in this method and I feel like I already learned a lot from this process that I wanna share with y'all. I am so excited how the spring painting is coming together. Um, so as you all know that I am working on a design for scarves. This is gonna be one of the scarves designs that I'm working on. So make sure you all tune in next week because I'm gonna be doing some more progress on the painting and you all can see how that looks. I think last time I said we were over 100 patrons yeah, now we're like up to like 112. It blows my mind, like for real. I actually recently created a blog post on my website talking about how the idea of having 10 patrons was phenomenal and amazing. And so now to have over 110 truly, truly blows my mind. And it, fe it feels so good to have this level of support. So thank you all so much for joining the Patreon community. Of course, you are welcome to join the community as well if you are not already a part of the fam. Thank you all so much for taking the time to watch this video. And remember, if you liked it, like it. And I'll see you all next week. Bye.